Hello everybody and welcome to a new video here on Metsolute TV. I think nearly all of you have ever taken some tablets when having head edges or some medicine against cough. And mostly they start to work and you start to feel better. But wouldn't it be nice if there would be some medicine against COVID-19? Or is it already there and we missed something? Let's find out that together in the today's episode. First of all, there's nothing that a key solution fighting against the COVID-19 infection. There's no wonder pill you can take eliminating all virus material out of your body when the infection is detected. About detection, we were speaking in the last episode of the series. I linked the playlist for you in the info card, so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Nevertheless, when infected with COVID-19, there are several phases you are passing. And there are different medicines used for all these phases. And some more are in exploration. So let's talk about them and their effectiveness. In the early phase of an infection, there is the possibility to use antiviral medicine for medication. And the good thing about that is that there are already some medicines used for siblings the SARS-CoV-2 virus has, like Ebola, influenza, HIV, SARS and MERS, for example. Through the respiratory tract, the virus travels into our body. What antiviral meds can do is to stop the multiplication of these virus. Therefore, antibodies are blocking the docking of the virus. Without being blocked, the virus can set itself in our cells. In there, it is starting to change the cell's setup so that it can start the reproduction of virus material. Also in that case, it is possible to medicate using antiviral medicine. The active ingrid is reassembling the virus protein structures and can stop their multiplication as soon as it is used by them. This way the amount of virus protein in our cells decreases. In theory this is a good way to go and for example as well Donald Trump has been treated this way and his regeneration worked really, really quick. Uh, Midvimab is, for example, close to an approval in Germany and in some cases used already, while Bambla Nivimab lost its approval through the FDA, which has only been a special approval, but it's not allowed to use it in a monotherapy, what means it could be used with other medicines together but it's not able to react with the new mutations of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. A heavier disease process can cause an overacting of the immune system, what isn't good in any way, because the overproduction of cytokines leads to inflammations, what further causes damages on organic and cell tissue. It is important using medicine to slow the immune system down and to damp it anyhow. The treatment with such intensive medication is only recommended for a really heavy disease process when the immune system is causing more damage than it is preventing. A small biotech company from Tübingen, Germany started with developing their COVID-19 medicine, which was in theory developed for being a method against influenza, but with the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, they rapidly changed the course. And they are already in phase two of their study with hospitalized patients from a medium to heavy disease process. The tablets should not only stop the virus multiplication, 
as well they should positively influence our immune system. As I already mentioned, an overaction of this immune system could cause disastrous damages for the organic and cell tissue. And through this medicine it may be possible to stop the multiplication of virus and as well positively influence the immune system and stopping the flood of cytokines terrifying our body. The subsidies at this point are increasing and not every nation has got a really rapid process with the vaccination. So there needs to be a way to help the people fighting with a surf cause of the disease as well as preventing it during the first step of the infection. Caused by the fact that COVID-19 was hitting the world that unexpected, the development for the medicine in theory needs more time and as well afterwards being specially approved and used, some medicines lose their approval. The medicine developed in tubing, for example, is a promising product and it is making a good development so far. But the number one goal needs to be to provide everyone with vaccine so they will only have a light course of the disease or are completely immune. That process will need some more time. But to know that there is a way to treat people from heavy to light disease curse is already a good sign. I am lucky that I have been spared by this so far. But have you had any problems? If you want to share them with us, use the comment section under this video. There are several ways to get more information. On the one hand, you could visit our blog at netsalute.com. As well, you could watch some more episodes of these or other series. And for the future, you could subscribe this channel and hit the bell for not missing any other videos. In this case, I have to say goodbye and have a nice day.